one of the other things that dawned on me, right? So this is a sport. I don't need to tell you all this, but as an outsider, I'm paying more attention. I'm talking to more athletes. And I realize like this is ostensibly one of the most accessible sports in the world, right? I always thought I was investing in soccer, building soccer teams. And I'm like, oh, soccer is the most accessible. No, 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 no. Like just need some sneakers. You don't even need the sneakers and you can run. And so when you start looking at this sport historically, you're like, well, wait a minute. Like we have all this excellence that every four years gets you know, front page, first class treatment, and then sort of disappears. Well, why is that? And you start looking at a sport that ostensibly is so accessible, and yet it's so hard to create a professional career. And it's on the men's and women's side, frankly. It's only only the exceptional ones who can. But you're also looking at a sport that is historically just disproportionately run by women of color and, and plenty of Americans, but also from plenty of other countries. And you start looking at this and thinking, well, damn, like, why hasn't this sport been getting more attention? Why hasn't this sport been getting more elevated? Like, this is the purest expression of sport. And it is excellence that everyone is paying attention to during the Olympics. It is a tier one sport during the Olympics. And for some reason, it goes away. Why is that? And the part that makes me so hopeful is, you know, the the women who are racing in Athlos are hopefully going to be the last generation who were little girls deciding to run track and like go like with a, you know, teenagers probably deciding, okay, I want to do this. Like, I really want to push myself to get to the next level and hopefully do it professionally. When they were little girls doing that, there was no hope for fame and fortune and riches and wealth. Like they weren't doing it for anything other than a pure love for the sport. Mm -hmm because there wasn't an ecosystem, there wasn't a, a, a path. You know, we're gonna have teens from New York who run track, boys and girls, a few hundred of them, in a grandstand at the finish line, because I want them to have a front row seat to seeing this on the level that it deserves, with these record-breaking purses, with Tiffany crowns for the winners, with, you know, international broadcast, with all of the greatness that they deserve outside of the Olympics. And, and hopefully we can create enough infrastructure for the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years and beyond for more pathways for these athletes to actually do this sport professionally. And so the kids who will be at Athlos will hopefully be that first new generation who can actually see a path towards really doing this as a tier one professional sport. And, and so in the meantime, what I tell folks who are new to it is when you understand the reasons why these women are running, you cannot help but become a fan. Because, and look, I love my buddies in the NBA and the league. You know, when those guys were teens, they knew that if, yeah, they continued working hard, they'd have a tremendous, and they deserve every bit of it, but they have a tremendous uh, fortune and fame ahead of them. But these women were doing just because they just can't help themselves, but they, they need to run. And if you want to look for things that give you motivation, that get you fired up, you don't have to look much further, right? That, that why is so damn powerful. And if we do this right, we can do something that not just solves it at the highest ranks, but actually starts to trickle down to so many other levels of the sport. And we can start finding more pathways, especially at a time when colleges are really starting to question investment in track and field programs, right? The, like this is the exact time to make this investment and create something that looks and feels as premium and elite as possible, because that's going to hopefully keep more attention up here. And then we can, you know, like I said, Athlos New York is just the start, but hopefully we can build something that's, that's much deeper than that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I get more and more inspired every time I talk to these ladies and, uh, I don't, I'm excited to see what happens. Listen, on man, he said it a long time ago. It's going to take someone outside the sport to change the game for us. Mm. 